got this. Let's go. Are you ready for the best prices? Let's go. When you order this mower within one minute, you will get two more for absolutely free. Go. This offer is only for a limited time. Don't hesitate to call now. Are we calling for a lawnmower? Uh, where's my phone? Oh, there it is. Hello? Hello? Hey, Ray. It's Margaret. Sorry for calling so late. But I'm going out of state for a week. Could you please take care of what my is cat, this water the flowers, and occasionally pick up my mail? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> and why does she have our freaking phone number? Oh, hello, Mrs. Olson. Of course, I'd be happy to help. When I get home from work in the evenings, I can take care of everything you need. Great, thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Won't you come over to my apartment now so I can show you what you'll need to do? I'll be there in a minute. Miss also lives in apartment number two. She's the best neighbor a person could ask for. I'm glad she trusts me with her apartment. Okay, I'm apartment four. Don't knock. Ring. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, we're just gonna walk in. Miss Olsen, I'm here. Oh. Miss, oh. Wow, looking good, Ray. You're a charming man. It's definitely an AI voice. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Olsen. What should I do first? Him? He sounds robotic. At the end of the hall right? is a door to my junk room. In that room, there's a watering can. Please bring it here. Oh my god. Your cat has bright green eyes and is slightly terrifying. Okay. Here in the living room are the first two plants. Yeah, in the living room are the first two plants. <laughs> the last two plants are in the bedroom. I'll wait for you here. In in the you're gonna wait for me in the bedroom? That's crazy, Miss Olson. All right. All right. I think we're going to feed the cat now. Okay. Do I just hold the watering can? Okay, got it. Oh! I usually feed Kitty half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only Your in the evening, bright blue just eyes. give her a whole can then. The cans are in the kitchen. Wait, do what? Half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only in, in the... Okay, we can give her the whole can in the evening. Got it. Dang, that's a lot of cat food. Meow food, am I right? <laughs> oh my god, she loves it. No need to get the mail today. I already did it. Here are my apartment and mailbox keys, plus $50. Appreciate your help. Dang, thanks, thanks for a lot. Up. I'll make sure everything's taken care of. Yes. Just in case, I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere if you need anything. Feel free to call me anytime. See you next week. Do what? Just in case. I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere. Okay. Take care and good night. 
go back to my apartment and go to sleep. We can do that. Bye, Miss Olsen. Trailer for rent. Is that? What was that game? Night rental? I think these are the same people. I'll have to double check that. Because that was a good game. That was a really fun game. Alright, we're going to sleep. Hello, how are you? How's your Sunday? Finally home from work. First, I'll pick up the mail for Miss Olsen and me. All right, Olsen. Golden Years Travel Agency. And me, Benton. Fear in town, authorities searched for escape psychiatric patient. The escape, in a chilling turn of events, the quiet town of... What? J. Wiles has been thrown into... <laughs> a state of shock and fear following the escape of a mentally ill man from the... Psychiatric asylum. The man identified as 65-year-old Mason, Harold Whitmore... What? Evaded the institution's security in what authorities are calling an unprecedented breach. Community on high alert. We are doing everything in our power to locate and safely apprehend Mr. Whitmore, said Police Chief Margaret Ellis in a press conference held earlier today. We ask the community to stay calm but alert. Do not approach him. Instead, contact the authorities immediately if you see anything suspicious. Descriptions of Whitmore have been widely circulated. He is 65 years old, stands approximately 5'10", with a slender build and a gray hair. One singular gray hair. <laughs> good, good, good. Not too bad. Yes. Yes. Luna, hi. <laughs> it says, and a gray hair. A singular hair that is gray. That's pretty wild. How does someone even escape from there? I hope they find him before things get worse. All right. Let's shut up this door and go up to her apartment. Boom, we're here. All right. One plant, Walter. Two plants watered. Gosh dang, it's dark. Oh, there we go. That must be one strong strand of hair. Yes. Time to feed the kitty. Meow, meow. Ooh. What are the plants? Feed kitty. Thank you again. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Is there a light switch? There is. Okay, there we go. Does she have anything in her fridge? Damn! Is she gone for a week? No, we're eating that. For sure, for sure. Done for the day, now I can go to my bed. Blah, 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 blah. Done for the day, now I can go to my apartment and get some sleep. Can I get that? Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> she won't miss this at all. That was crazy. That was crazy. Leaving a chicken like that is crazy. Oh, oh no. I got to turn off all the lights. Leaving all that food is crazy. She said she was going to be gone for a week. Ain't no way that food's going to be good in a week. Nasty. All right. Off we go. Now we can get some rest. 
Do I even have any food? I do. Dang. Literally me in an apocalypse. I would eat all the food day one. I would be so scared. I would be like scared eating, you know what I mean? I would be scared eating. So scared you eat everything. <laughs> another day, another mail collection. He is stocked up like a bear. There better be more food day two. Won't that be crazy? The Ever Blau, Ever Blau, what? Insurance company. Do not bend. Well, somebody did that. Seriously, do not bend and it's bent? I'll leave the letter in her apartment. Did I, did I leave the last letter? Rip. Oh no, has that always been there? Don't say I'm broke. Say I'm financially challenged. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Can't right now. I'm financially challenged. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the plant? Is it somewhere else? Okay. This is starting to freak me out. I'm calling Miss Olsen. Um, hello, Miss Olsen? Hello? Hello, Mrs. Olsen? I've got a problem. A plant is missing. The one in the living room. Hey, Ray. Really? Everything else is fine. Just one plant disappeared. Hey, yeah. Yes, well... Oh! Just kidding. <laughs> Must be saying things. It's here. It literally wasn't here a few seconds ago. I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> Maybe you're tired. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work. <laughs> no, no. That's definitely from Maybe my work. I hate it there. Sorry to interrupt. I'm going to go water them. Okay. Let's keep our eyes on the plant. All right, and... Time to feed kitty. Very cute cat. <gasps> oh, I thought it ran away. Mm. Kitty meow. Done. Mm. I'm excited to go to my bed. Do you have any more food? Oh, oh, okay. did it again. I turned on all the lights and then forgot. Okay, everything looks good. Another day. Fate. 50 bucks for the whole week? I guess that's good. We're only picking up mail, plants, and a cat. I'm wondering what's waiting in the mailbox today. Uh, a free debit card. When you open your account today.
That's wild. You should never pay for a debit card. <laughs> you should never be pay paying for a freaking debit card. That's crazy. What was that? I heard a whooshing sound. Kitty is sure hungry. Okay. <gasps> Kitty, you must have lost your bowl somewhere. It was just here. It was just here. Whatever. I hope Miss Olsen wouldn't be angry if I leave it on the floor. Aww. It's floor food, kitty. Sorry. All right, here we go. Oh, I turned him off this time. I forgot again. All right. To bed. Things seem pretty chill so far. My debit card from Square 8 Bank arrived today. I'm very excited. Square bank, there it is. My first debit card, let's go. What was a crazy sound effect? What the heck, Kitty's bowl? How did it end up here? Let's go to apartment. This. Oh, ah! What the fuck was that disgustingly loud sound? Jerry? I'm gonna need you to calm all the way down. That was crazy. Fah, screw it. I'm drunk as a skunk anyway. You're the one who's taking care of Margaret's <laughs> apartment now, aren't you? Um, who? Mrs. Olsen? Yes, that's me. Sorry if I disturbed you. What were you doing there so late yesterday? It was three o'clock in the morning. Jerry trying to give us a mini heart attack for real. What do you mean it was three o'clock in the morning? I wasn't anywhere at three o'clock in the morning, Jerry. You crazy. What? By that time, I was sleeping in my bed. I wasn't in her apartment. Nice try, Jerry. I saw you. I was coming back from the pub. You were waving at me from the window. Not it. Not me. No way. Uh, you were just seeing things. I was really sleeping. Drunk loser making shit up again. Damn. Oh my gosh, that's Harold. Our 65 year old slender build, single, singular gray haired <laughs> Harold. Harold Whitmore. Oh no. All right. At least we have the cat dish now. Oh my, okay. I keep getting scared that the cat is gone forever. All right. Watered, watered, what do you mean waving at you? What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? Do you think we'll get in trouble if we leave the windows open? Probably. A lot of the plants feed the cat and get out of here. Seeing kitty eating is the cutest part of my day. Here you go, meow meows. Time to get some sleep.
will remember. One of these days. One of these days, we'll get it. Finally home. Today is my last day taking care of Mrs. Olson's apartment. All right. Don't say I'm hungry, say. I'm experiencing an acute and, immen and an imminent need for nutritional intervention. This combination is characterized by a rapidly diminishing energy reserve accompanied by a persistent rumbling sound emanating from my abdomen. The current lack of sustenance is leading to a noticeable decline in cognitive function and overall mood stability. My stomach is is effectively staging a protest against the absence of food with increasing urgency. Immediate action is required to restore equilibrium and prevent further deterioration. A carefully selected meal or snack would be highly beneficial in addressing this critical state. I eagerly anticipate the prompt delivery of a, of a suitable nutritional solution to... What? Ameliorate this pressing situation. I cannot read that. That is blurry as shit. Ameliorate? I don't even know if that's a word. But today it's a word. Today. It's a way. No way I'm saying all that. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should just go with I'm hungry. <laughs> Happy Paws Pet Club. Yay. Solson, yay. Sudden collapse. Square 38 Bank shuts down just two days after opening. Just two days. There's something. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. There's something in my nose. Just two days after its must much anticipated grand opening Square 38 Bank has announced its sudden and unexpected closure, sending shocks through the financial community and leaving customers scrambling to understand what went wrong. The collapse unfolds. Reports of trouble at Square 38 Bank began to surface yesterday afternoon. Customers experienced issued accessing their accounts by conducting transactions leading to mounting anxiety. By early morning, the bank's management confirmed the worst. The bank's dismal start, with only four clients in the first two days, had forced them to shut down operations immediately. Impact on customers for the four individuals who did open accounts with Square 38, the sudden closure has resulted in significant uncertainty. This is a devastating blow, said one of the affected account holders who preferred to remain anonymous. We trusted the bank with our funds, and now we are left wondering will ever get our money back. Are you kidding me? My debit card arrived yesterday. <sighs> We're having a bad day. We're having a bad day. Our first debit card? Our first debit card. With our brand new bank. Is it done so? Alright. Let's look around a little bit though too. What's Miss Olsen hiding, huh? What is she hiding? We have all these windows we can interact with. All right, where's the kitty? There's the kitty. Done. I'm good to go. Good night, kitty.
let's go. We didn't forget the lights. We didn't even touch a single light this time. All right. Mrs. Olson should be back today. Mrs. Olson should be home by now. I'm going to return her keys. Should I get the mail one last time? And uh, nope. Miss Olson. Hi, Mrs. Olson. It's good to see you. <laughs> Nine one one. What's your emergency? <laughs> hey, look. If you scream, I'm gonna scream. Okay, that's how this works. Okay, you screamed, so I had to scream. That's not my problem. That's on you. Okay. There's a foreign man in my apartment. He attacked my neighbor, and now they're fighting. <sighs> It's my apartment. Mine. Get out. Everybody out. Harold? She changed a lot after the incident. Police found two um, bodies. One was of a 24-year-old man and the other of a 68-year-old woman. The previous owner of apartment number two, Harold Whitmore, escaped from the scene previous owner police never found him 